Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to bring in a testimonial or an illustration of the conscious use of the power of imagination by two people concentrating on the same objective at the same time. Absolutely love this story because they use this. They it's a husband and wife and they're manifesting something together, but they don't actually know that they're manifesting it together, but they're focused on the same thing, which makes it even more powerful and it kind of goes back to not discussing what you're manifesting. So they don't even discuss this together, but they're both working on the same thing together, which I absolutely love this. So let's go ahead and jump in. This is case number 8 from The Power of Awareness by Neville Goddard. The man and wife in this story have attended my lectures or Neville Goddard's lectures for a number of years. It is an interesting illustration of the conscious use of this law by two people concentrating on the same objective at one time. Okay, so the man and wife were an exceptionally devoted couple. Their life was completely happy and entirely free from any problems or frustrations. For some time, they had planned to move into a larger apartment. The more they thought about it, the more they realized that what they had their hearts set on was a beautiful penthouse. In discussing it together, the husband explained that he wanted one with a huge window looking out on a magnificent view. The wife said she would like to have one side of the walls mirrored from top to bottom. They both wanted to have a wood-burning fireplace. It was just a must. It was a must that the apartment be in New York. For months, they had searched for just such an apartment in vain. So they're doing it in the 3D. They're not actually changing their imagination or their concept of themselves. They're not actually visualizing anything. They're just going out in a 3D world and looking for this apartment. Okay, so that's what that means when they're searching in vain. In fact, the situation in the city was such that the securing of any kind of apartment was almost an impossibility. So it was very difficult to find an apartment that they're looking for in New York. Even if you had the money, you couldn't find one. They were they were already booked. They were already booked solid. There was there was a waiting list trying to get these types of apartments. Like it says right here, they were so scarce that not only were there waiting lists for them, but all sorts of special deals, including premiums, the buying of furniture, etc., were involved. New apartments were being leased long before they were even completed. Many rented from the blueprints of the building. So there's a long wait list for these. These are very hard to come by. So they're searching in vain. They're trying to find one in the 3D world. But, and then they learn through Neville Goddard to use the power of their imagination, and that's what they do. So early in the spring, after months of fruitless seeking, they finally located one which they seriously considered. It was a penthouse um, apartment in a building just being completed on Upper Fifth Avenue facing Central Park. It had one serious drawback. Being a new building, it was not subject to rent control and the couple felt the yearly rental was really, really high. So in fact, it was several thousand dollars a year more than they had considered paying. During the spring months of March and April, they continued looking at various penthouses throughout the city, but they always came back to this one. Finally, they decided to, to increase the amount they would pay substantially and made a proposition which the agent for the building agreed to, agreed to forward to the owners for consideration. It was at this point, without discussing it with each other, each determined to apply the law of assumption. It was not until later that they learned what the other had done. So they're both imagining the same thing. They both went to Neville Goddard's lectures, but they're not discussing what they're doing together. They're just working on the same thing, which I think goes back to not discussing your manifestations. And they could be much more powerful this way because you're not blocking one another and you're actually in sync with one another without even speaking about it. So they're both in sync with this. They're going to Neville Goddard's lectures and they're learning about the power of imagination and they both start visualizing exactly the way they want this apartment to look like, but it's the same apartment, okay? So night after night, they both fell asleep in imagination in the apartment they were considering. The husband lying with his eyes closed would imagine that his bedroom windows were overlooking the park. He would imagine going to the window the first thing in the morning and enjoying the view. He felt himself sitting on the terrace overlooking the park, having cocktails with his wife and friends, all thoroughly enjoying it. He filled his mind with actually feeling himself in the penthouse and on the terrace during all this time. Unknown to him, his wife was doing the same exact thing. Unknown to him, his wife was doing the same exact thing. Okay, so... 
And several weeks went by without any decision on the part of the owners, but they continued to imagine as they fell asleep each night that they were actually sleeping in the penthouse. One day, to their complete surprise, one of the employees in the apartment building in which they lived told them that the penthouse there was vacant. They were astonished because theirs was one of the most desirable buildings in the city with a perfect location right on Central Park. They knew there was a long waiting list of people trying to get an apartment in their building. The fact that a penthouse had unexpectedly become available was kept quiet by management because they were not in a position to consider any applicants for it. Upon learning that it was vacant, this couple immediately made a request that it be rented to them, only to only to be told that this was impossible. So they found out that the, that the actual apartment building they lived in presently actually had an opening for a penthouse and that was what they were looking for so all this started happening with because they're sleeping in this penthouse they're creating this penthouse and then this one opens up because of that but they're still being told that it's an impossibility that they move into it okay and the fact was that not only were there several people on the waiting list for a penthouse in the building but it was actually promised to one family despite this the couple had a series of meetings with the management at the conclusion of which the apartment was theirs so they did get this and they did use action but they still slept in this penthouse and then it's acted intuitively and these doors just started opening from their imaginal acts they're sleeping in this new penthouse so one actually opens up and it's in the same building as theirs then they go after it and then they just they feel it out intuitively and then they have meetings with the management at the conclusion the apartment was there so everything came together just as they imagined and there was nothing that was going to stop that from happening and once they saw something open up they actually took action and actually made that happen. They, like I said here, they had a series of meetings with management. And at the conclusion of that, the apartment was theirs, okay? So the building being subject to rent control, everything lined up with what he was imagining or what they were both imagining. The building being subject to rent control, their rental was just about what they had planned to pay when they first started looking for, for the penthouse for a, for a new apartment, the location, the apartment itself, and the large terrace surrounding it on the southwest and north was beyond all their expectations. And in the living room on one side is a giant window, 15 by 8, with a magnificent view of Central Park, exactly what they were imagining. And one wall is mirrored from floor to ceiling, and there is a wood-burning fireplace. Everything that they imagined actually came true. So when they created this imaginal scene in their minds, there was going to be something that happened, and it just happened to happen in their own apartment building, something very quick and simple. Actually, they didn't have to, to move very far into this new apartment, which actually worked out. That's why I love this, this testimonial so much is because they both worked on it together, and then they both they took action when they saw that a door open and it was obvious for them to take some action they did that and i do believe this is important because sometimes when you're imagining things and you're visualizing you're scripting or you're affirming something to be true in the present moment you're going to have things like this doors are going to open but they're going to require you to walk through them and you're going to need to take some action if they're leading you towards it if you see something that's leading towards your imaginal act being fulfilled then you need to take that action and get there and do whatever it takes to get that and i I do believe that taking action in these types of circumstances, these types of imaginal acts do work and they're very, very effective. All right, that's the end of this video, guys. I love you guys very much. We're going to be getting into the next one. This is the last case history in this book, but I'm going to be moving towards the law and the promise and I'm going to be I'm going to be also doing those for you guys as well. So let's go ahead and jump right into that and leave any comments that you have, any ideas you have, any, any content that you would like me to look over. I read all of the comments and I will read all of your comments as well. And remember, the scammers are in the comments. So if someone um, replies to your comment and they are impersonating me, they say they're me and they're trying to get you to contact them at a specific number, WhatsApp, Telegram or Snapchat. Do not respond to them. Just report them. All right, guys, I love you and I'll see you in the next video.